This is the coolest science experiment you can do at home. The science siblings stop by the studio to make homemade lava lamps with Kenny. Well, it's always fun to have these two in studio. We got Paige and Adam, and we're doing a science experiment, hence our lab coats. What are we making today, you guys? Today we are making our very own lava lamp. Oh! Lava lamps are a fun toy that you can play around with and learn about the science that goes on behind them. So, before we get started, I think it'd be really cool to do a little bit of science behind why lava lamps work the way they do, so yeah. we can understand them better. When we're gonna make our own lava lamps today, we're gonna need three ingredients in order to make them. So the first thing we're gonna need is vinegar, the second thing we're gonna need is oil, and the third thing we're gonna need is baking soda. And one really cool thing about oil and vinegar is that oil is hydrophobic and vinegar is hydrophilic. Do you know what the difference is between the two, Kenny? Well, I know they, that means they don't mix, right? Hydrophilic means it does mix, but then hydrophobic means you get exactly. the blobs. <laughs> That's exactly right, Kenny. Hydrophobic things don't like mixing with water and hydrophilic things do. Okay. So since they don't like to mix together with the same things, they're not going to mix together in our experiment. And that's what we're gonna see hopefully here today. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the baking soda into the bottom of the, the Erlenmeyer flask. And we're gonna try and get it like all over the bottom and try not to make a mess too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a mess, so. It's science, everyone makes a mess, right? Exactly. Okay, I got mine okay. all around the bottom. Perfect, now we're gonna add the oil and we're gonna try and add it slowly so that it does not mix with the baking soda. You can kinda, it helps if you kinda turn it to the side. I okay. Think, I think, and slowly, very slowly. And about how much of it will we need for our experiment today, Paige? It kind of depends on the flask you're using. But we used about a cup of oil and about two tablespoons of baking soda and maybe about a quarter of a cup of, of vinegar. For this next step, we're gonna add vinegar. But when we do add the vinegar, we're gonna notice that when it does, it's gonna go straight down to the bottom and mix with the baking soda. Before we add the vinegar, I brought some food coloring and glitter to add to make the vinegar more special. Okay, the most important yes. ingredient. <laughs> My favorite, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the glitter, yes. Okay, here we go, a little, a little green. Got red and green. Very Christmassy. Did you ever have a lava lamp growing up, Kenny? I did. Oh, I did, did have a lava lamp. Mm hmm. So now we can just add it to the bottom. We can just pour it right in. Alrighty, let's do our experiment in three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, and we should see some science magic happening. Oh, my goodness. So you can see all the little lava starting to happen and form. And it's fun with the glitter too. It moves all the glitter around and the food coloring. Whoa. Oh. And you'll notice too, when the vinegar gets down to the baking soda, it reacts by making carbon dioxide in the liquid. But when it goes back up, it goes back down afterwards. Oh, Adam, yours is so cool. <laughs> I think yours is really cool too. <laughs> so the reason why it goes up and goes back down is because carbon dioxide is less dense than all the liquids around it. So it's gonna go to the top of the beaker. But then when the carbon dioxide gets to the top and escapes into the atmosphere, it'll go back down because the liquid left over is more dense than all the other liquids. Ooh. So that's why it goes up and back down. Hopefully people get a chance to try this over the school break here now. Yeah. Because it's fun. Well, thank you guys for joining us. These are so cool. Such a cool experiment for a break. And we're gonna see what it looks like in the dark. Oh, it's gonna be so much fun. Oh my, <laughs> I have like created life over here or something. Look at, mine's crazy. Mine looks like a real volcano with the red lava. Mine looks like a snowy scape, like a winter scape. <laughs> right? With the white light. <laughs> yes, thank you so thank much for having this. This was so much fun. Thank you for having us. We had a lot of fun, like Adam said. And learned a lot too.